how not to read a phylogenetic tree. Phylogenetic tree. What is phylogeny? The branch of biology that deals with phylogenesis. What is phylogenesis, you ask? The evolutionary development and diversification of a species or group of organisms or of a particular feature of an organism. What is the phylogenetic tree? A branching diagram or tree showing the inferred evolutionary relationships among various biological species, showing similarities and differences in their physical and or genetic characteristics. A node on the tree indicates where the branches meet. They represent the common shared ancestor of all taxa beyond the node. In this example, a node represented in the circle indicates a common ancestor for the taxidia taxis and the lutra lutra. How to read who are common ancestors? Here we have taxons A, B, and C. In this area, we see that taxons A and B have a common ancestor. Taxons A and B are called sister groups. However, taxon C is an outgroup to taxon A and B because it is not connected. So, in this area here, taxons A, B, and C all share a common ancestor. However, people will make the mistake of thinking that this area is the common ancestor for A, B, and C because this line connects straight with this one. However, that is not the case. This one is the common ancestor for A and B. This one is the common ancestor for A, B, and C. Length of a stem. While looking at this picture, we see fairly three large stems. Here, here, and here. We see one small stem here. While looking at this, we know that these th three large, fairly large stems species still exist. However, when we're reading this, this short stem here tells us that this species no longer exists and that it is extinct. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that this short stem, the species still exists. However, we need to know that the small stem tells us that it does not. What is a clade? A clade is a grouping that includes a common ancestor and all of its descendants, whether it's living or extinct, of that ancestor. In this example, we see here that the highlighted group is a clade because it's referring to its common ancestor and all of its descendants. Likewise, on this one, it's referring to a, all of its descendants here. And the bottom one, this is not a clade because it's referring to two different groups and the middle part is highlighted from the two different groups, which is not a clade. And then this last example, this is not a clade because almost the entire thing is highlighted, but one missing descendant is not. Here are a few more examples for the class to see. Try to analyze these on your own. Rotating clades. A lot of people mistakenly think that rotating a clade will destroy the tree. However, this is not the case, as we see in the example here. That we, when we rotate this clade by a full 360 degrees, we see that everything still ends up being the same with the mammal, crocodile, bird, lizard, snake, and turtle. All the common ancestors are still the same. All the descendants are still the same. Hence, there is no difference. Taxa that are adjacent on the tips of the phylogeny are more closely related than those that are distant. For example, we see here that the lizard and the duck are more closely related than the lizard and the shark. A lot of people will think that they're all closely related. However, this is not the case. Also, when we're referring back to the previous slide, we can see that if the two clades are being reversed or rotated, they are still exactly the same because the common ancestor 
ancestors are still exactly the same. Common misconception that taxa that appear near the top or the right hand side of phylogeny are not more advanced than other organisms on the tree. In this picture, C and D are not more advanced than A and B in any way. Are taxa that are near the bottom or the left hand side of a phylogeny representative of the ancestors of the other organisms on the tree? No, the ancestors are not because the ancestors are only represented at the nodes of the tree. A lot of people also make the mistake of thinking that D is the only descendant to C, B, and A. Now the reason why that is not correct is because C, B, and A taxa are not, are not ancestors. Only ancestors are at the nodes.